June 17th, The Uncritical Temper Judge not, that ye not be judged. Matthew 7, verse 1 Jesus says regarding judging, don't. The average Christian is the most penetratingly critical individual. Criticism is a part of the ordinary faculty of a man, but in the spiritual domain nothing is accomplished by criticism. The effect of criticism is a dividing up of the powers of the one criticized, The Holy Ghost is the only one in the true position to criticize. He alone is able to show what is right and wrong without hurting and wounding. It is impossible to enter into communion with God when you are in a critical temper. It makes you hard and vindicative and cruel and leaves you with the flattering unction that you are a superior person. Jesus says, as a disciple, cultivate the uncritical temper. It is not done once and for all. Beware of anything that puts you in the superior person's position. There is no getting away from the penetration of Jesus. If I see the mote in your eye, it means I have a beam in my own. Every wrong thing that I see in you, God locates in me. Every time I judge, I condemn myself. See Romans 2, verses 17 through 20. Stop having a measuring rod for other people. There is always one fact more in every man's closet about which we know nothing. The first thing God does is to give us a spiritual spring cleaning. There is no possibility of pride left in a man after that. I have never met the man I could despair of after discerning what lies in me apart from the grace of God.